Hey guys, Student Dr. Thompson here, and today I want to talk to you about memorization, possibly the most important skill in medical school, probably your undergrad, and probably in board preparation as well. Um, but I never took a class on memorization, and I'm assuming that a lot of you guys haven't either. This technique that I learned and that I want to share with you today is possibly one of the most amazing things I've discovered. It's called the method of loci. So the method of loci is an ancient Greek technique for memorizing things. It involves associating items that you're trying to memorize with locations and then creating a mental journey. And as you travel to these different locations, there are abstract things, um, acts of violence, something silly, something crude, essentially items at each location that recall to your memory the things that you're actually trying to memorize. And... Um, I'm going to give you an example of something that I just came up with, um, but but there's so it's very deep and it can and your journey can be very long and it can be very effective to memorize tons of stuff really fast. There are competitive memorizers, there are memory competitions, and the number one technique that they recommend in preparing for these memory competitions is you know, different ways to turn the method of loci into something that works for you. Okay, so the example that I came up with, and pardon me if it's flawed, it's just an example, and I'm going to cut it short for you guys, but essentially, um, I'm going to take you through a journey. I'm opening my front door to my house, and on my couch, Angelina Jolie is sitting there, wedged in between two fat sumo wrestlers who are dumping salt all over her, and she begins to pee her pants. And she's screaming for Aldo, a guy named Aldo. Well, all this urine everywhere makes me think that I better go to the bathroom before I do the same. And as I walk through my living room into my bathroom, there is a professional soccer player whose name is Aldo. Well, he's rubbing bananas on his soccer ball, and then he kicks his soccer ball into the toilet. And as he's dumping salt on himself, he says, see... Okay, so I'll stop right there. Um, but essentially, Ange Angelina Jolie is angiotensin 2, sitting between two sumo wrestlers. And angiotensin 2 is a vasoconstrictor. She's kind of wedged. Um, it acts on the proximal tubule, which is represented by her pee, and it reabsorbs salt in the proximal tubule. Um, it also stimulates prostaglandins, and that's also the pee. And then it stimulates aldosterone, which she cries out, aldosterone. Then I go to the bathroom and I see aldosterone, and he's secreting potassium into the toilet. Essentially, he's putting potassium on his soccer ball and kicking it into the toilet. That's um, its secretion of potassium. He's pouring salt on himself, and that is reabsorption of salt. Um, and he says C, and that stands for the collecting tubules, the collecting ducts. So you can see that um, creating these stories, I, that was... That was the shortest story, but yet it helped me remember two principles that I could not keep straight, angiotensin II and aldosterone. So um, I hope this helps you guys. I hope you can start to think of how you can create these journeys. There are You can see similarities with mnemonics, and I'm going to talk about mnemonics and the type of mnemonics that have helped me the most. Um, and so thanks for watching, guys. Um, research the method of loci. I'll put a link in the description um, to the information that I use to, uh, to tell you about it. And hopefully this helps. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos.